Uncle Paul here, and welcome to the Uncle Paul's Ark Bible Time, where we are all about studying God's Word and hiding it in our hearts that we may grow in the fear and knowledge of the Lord Jesus Christ. Boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, with me is my niece, Joy. Fantastic. Thank you. I love the energy. So today we will be singing and praising the Lord as usual. Hope you can get your dancing boots on. We will be shining all over this place to the glory of God. Amen. But to start us off, Joy, will yes. you pray with us? Let's pray. Thank you. Thank you, God, for this yet another chance that you've given us, Lord, to share your word. Thank you, Lord, for the lesson today, God, as we go through this Bible time, Lord, whatever, God, we're going to learn, Lord, we do it for the glory and honor of your name. Blessed be your name. We thank you, Lord, for the dear children who are viewing us and their parents, Lord. And we declare, Lord, that they are blessed in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name we pray and believe. Amen. 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 All right, so now we will talk about this little light of mine. We're going to make it shine and shine. shine. Let's go. This is light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This is light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This is light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Go! This is light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This is light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This is light of mine. I'm gonna let it shine, 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 let it shine. This is a light of mine, let it shine, 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 let it shine. This is a light of mine, let it shine. Hide it on the bed, but no, I'm gonna let it shine. Hide it on the bed, no, I'm gonna let it shine. Another bed, no, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Okay, all around my neighborhood, I'm gonna let it shine. All around my neighborhood, I'm gonna let it shine. All around my neighborhood, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine. This is a light of mine, let it shine, shine, shine. This is light of mine, let it shine. Don't let the devil blow it out. I'm gonna let it shine. Don't let the devil blow it out. I'm gonna let it shine. Ah, don't let Satan blow it out. I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Okay, let me say, shine my light till Jesus comes. I'm gonna let it shine. Shine my light till Jesus comes. I'm gonna let it shine. Shine my light till Jesus comes. I'm gonna let it shine, 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 let it shine. This is light of mine. Let it shine, 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 shine. Let it shine. This is light of mine. Let it shine. Alpha, Omega, you are worthy of my praise. Yeah, yeah. 
shine that our Lord Jesus Christ will be proud of us. Amen. The only way we can make him shine is by knowing more and more about him. Mm. The more we know about him, the more we will tell others about him, and the more we are going to make his light shine across the world. Let's sing this hymn together.
So today we look at the final miracle that Jesus performs according to the Gospel of John. And remember we say that every one of the miracles that John records, the seven miracles that John records in his Gospel, they are actually, he says that he has recorded them so that people might believe that Jesus Christ, that Jesus is the Son of God, he's the Messiah, the Son of God. And by believing in him, they would have everlasting life. So um, today we will be talking about the final miracle that is recorded in the Gospel of John. And it's also one of the final miracles that Jesus Christ actually did when he was here on earth. It was the most dramatic. Uh, and sometimes I think maybe that should be the one that he should have fasted, you know, if I was the one. And I came to earth as a son of God. I would have actually started by raising someone from the dead. Then people would have known that I am the one who is very, you know. But he actually does it as a last miracle. And we are going to go straight into God's word. So I'd like you to read for us from the book of John chapter 11, beginning to read from verse 17 to verse 27. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. So John 11, 17. On his arrival, Jesus found that Lazarus had already been in the tomb for four days. Bethany was less than two miles from Jerusalem, and many Jews had come to Mother and Mary to comfort them in the loss of their brother. When Mother heard that Jesus was coming, she went out to meet him, but Mary stayed at home. Lord, Mother said to Jesus, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. But I know that even now God will give you whatever you ask. Jesus said to her, Your brother will, will rise again. Mother answered, I know he will rise again in the resurrection at the last day. Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection and the life. He who believes in me will live, even though he dies, and whoever lives and believes in me will never die. Do you believe this? Yes, Lord, she told him. I believe that you are Christ, the Son of God, who was to come into the world. This is the word of God. Thanks be to God. You know, the story of uh, Lazarus is a very nice story. Mm -hmm. This is a man who is recognized in the Bible as having been loved by Jesus. Mm -hmm. He and his two sisters lived in a town called Bethany or in a village called Bethany. And this is a place where Jesus Christ used to stay any time that you would be hanging around or you will be within that area. Mm -hmm. And that is something that I really desire. Mm -hmm. That if Jesus Christ came to around Buruburu, mm -hmm. that the place that he would identify mm -hmm. as the digs to hang out in would actually be my home. Wow. All right? Mm -hmm. So these, um, these brother and sisters had a very good relationship with the Lord. Mm -hmm. And Jesus loved them. So one time, Jesus Christ was away. Wherever he was, was about a one day's journey. Mm -hmm. So back in the day, there were no cars. Uh -huh. uh, so um, Jesus Christ used to walk. And if you wanted to get from that place to where Jesus Christ was, it would take you a whole day. So Jesus is um, uh, away. And then um, his friend Lazarus gets sick. And so the sisters get to realize that the brother is very, very sick, and so they send out for Jesus. I would imagine that maybe they've already taken him to the doctor, but then they realize that this man is about to die, and because they know that Jesus Christ is a healer, mm. so they send out for Jesus. Mm. So the person then who has been sent will take one day to actually get to where Jesus is. Mm. So he gets to where Jesus is, and he says, your friend Lazarus is dead. No, he's unwell. Your friend Lazarus is very unwell and I've been asked to come and take you so that we can go, we can go back. So Jesus Christ hears the news and then he doesn't go immediately. He actually stays for two more days. So let us assume this man travels on Sunday. Sunday morning to Sunday evening, he gets to where Jesus is. So ideally then Jesus should come back on Monday morning to be back to Lazarus' home on Monday in the evening. But he doesn't, st he, instead of going on Monday in the evening, he waits for the whole of Monday, he waits for the whole of Tuesday, and then sets out to go on a Wednesday in the morning 
to go back to where Lazarus is. So by the time he's um, uh, by the time he's getting to where Lazarus is, it is four days since Lazarus was actually the, the news uh, the news uh, to get to Jesus was sent to him. Mm. Now, as it happens is, Lazarus dies on the day that this man is actually sent to go and get Jesus. Mm -hmm. So when he gets to where Jesus is, um, um, and Jesus takes two days and then comes on the fourth day. Yeah, at the fourth day, Jesus Christ tells his uh, disciples, um, let's go to where Lazarus is. Mm -hmm. But even before that, on this day when the gentleman or whoever was sent gets to Jesus, Jesus tells them, the sickness that Lazarus is having is not going to lead to death, mm -hmm. which is interesting because most likely by the time this man is actually getting to Jesus, Lazarus already is already dead. dead. Mm -hmm. And in those days, the tradition was that when you die today, you would actually be buried today. Mm -hmm. So by the time he's actually saying that uh, Lazarus uh, is, this, this sickness is not going to result in death, Lazarus is dead, has already been wrapped up and put in, in the tomb. So anyway, two days later, he goes, and when he gets to where uh, Lazarus' home is, the Mary, uh, Martha, the, 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 the sister to, to Lazarus, comes and tells the Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. And, um, and so people start saying that, oh yeah, you know this man, he, he, he loved Lazarus. Why, if he, he truly loved Lazarus, why didn't he heal him? Uh, uh, he, uh, you know, when the, the minute that he had that he was sick. And so, um, so Jesus Christ answers her and says that, hey, by the way, listen to me. I, I am the resurrection and the life. And, um, and uh, whoever believes in me, even though they die, yet they shall live again. And then, of course, um, Martha says, oh, yeah, of course I know. Um, at the time of resurrection, my brother is going to resurrect again. And Jesus Christ tells her, I am the resurrection. So it's not something that is going to happen at some point later in time. Even today, whoever, whoever believes in me, he walks or she walks in a life and in a resurrection that even if they die, they will not, they, yet they will, yet they will live. And so Jesus Christ then um, uh, goes to where Lazarus is, uh, but not before Martha goes and tells her sister that uh, Jesus has come. And the sister comes running and she says the same exact words. If you had been here, my brother would not have died. Um, so there are two things here. When they say that if you were here, they actually believe that Jesus Christ is a healer. But they also are blaming him because, hey, Jesus, we sent this information to you a long time ago. We know that the guy got to you on the same day. You should have been here on this other day. And why that was especially important was because in those days, there was a belief that when somebody died, the spirit of that person stayed around the grave for three days, mm -hmm. okay? After those three days, the body would be so decomposed, the spirit just left him. Mm -hmm. So they are saying, if you had uh, come back on the same day, the spirit of Lazarus would still be around and you could be able to command the spirit to go back, to go back to him and he would leave. Mm -hmm. So they were very, they were kind of disappointed. But Jesus Christ says, hey, listen, I will sort out this. And he goes to where Lazarus is. He asks for the stone to be rolled away. And the sisters are saying, no, 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 but he's rotten now. It's going to be stinking. Jesus says, roll the stone away. And he called out, Lazarus, come out. And Lazarus got out of the grave. And then he told the disciples or the people around, why don't you untie this person? Mm -hmm. You know, Jesus Christ um, performs a miracle that only God can perform. Mm -hmm. There is only one person who is able to give life, mm -hmm. and that is God. Yeah. So by performing this miracle of resurrecting someone from the dead, he is basically showing that he has got power and victory over, over death. death. Mm -hmm. 
This is a good lesson. Really nice that shows us the power and the mightiness of our awesome God. Mm. What did you pick from this? Before I share what I picked, yep. uh, there's something that uh, I've realized we have read here uh, concerning the faith that Martha had. They knew that Jesus has power over death. Yes. That says, if you had been there, my brother would not have died, mm. but I know even now God will give you whatever you ask. Yes. I think that's amazing if our friends get even to know yes. of our stand uh, in, in the faith and in God. Yes. But most especially, uh, what I'm taking is that our emergencies are not God's emergency. Okay. You see, uh, Jesus took two more days, but still the will of God to be fulfilled. Yes. And for them, they say, if you had been here earlier, yes. my brother would not have died. So what seems as an emergency in our eyes, there is a set timing and God's timing, which is the right timing. Amazing that God's ways are not our ways. Mm. And, um, you know, there are many times when you want things done and done now. Yeah. Okay. And Jesus Christ or the Lord takes time before those answers are actually are actually done or are actually answered. And sometimes we feel like, oh, no, 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 you're too late. But um, I like what you've said that our emergencies are not God's emergencies. Mm -hmm. He sees us when we are in that emergency. Um, in some of the emergencies, he's, he does remove us from that emergency. But there are also times when he's actually going to do things at his own timing mm -hmm. and his timing mm -hmm. is the best. So our emergencies mm -hmm. are not God emergencies because his ways are yeah, not our ways. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, did you pick anything else? Uh, maybe that's it you can share. Now, maybe there's something else that I pick out of this mm -hmm. is that um, when, um, when Lazarus, when Jesus Christ gets to where Lazarus is, mm -hmm. it is four days later. Mm -hmm. And really, he would have actually been able to... Um, from the time that he had this, he would have actually been able to come back and be there on time um, when the spirit was still around. Was still around. Yeah. But, you know, if Jesus Christ had raised Lazarus from dead after he had only been dead for two days, mm -hmm. it would have been assumed that he's basically just commanded, mm -hmm. uh, he's actually just commanded um, the spirit uh, which was hovering around. But the fact that four days later is when he got there, when hope had completely been lost, mm -hmm. when it was known that his body was rotten beyond repair, it basically teaches us mm -hmm. that Jesus Christ is the life and the resurrection. Mm -hmm. That those who believe in him, even though they die, yet mm -hmm. they shall live again. Mm -hmm. um, that Jesus Christ has got uh, power over death uh, so that uh, when he says, I am the life and the resurrection, he's basically saying, hey, listen, death, no matter how long, no matter how, how bad, even death is under my authority. And uh, the life that I have cannot be taken away even by death. And even in death, I will bring back whatever has been dead into into resurrection mm. so i'm learning that jesus christ is the resurrection and he is the life mm. and that whoever believes in the lord jesus mm -hmm. even though they die yet they, they shall they live again, again. Mm. maybe the other thing i'm also learning is that jesus is never too late our god is never too late mm. um four days later mm -hmm. it will actually have meant that uh, the body is decayed and the body, I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a wrap. Yeah. Uh, but Jesus Christ comes in, um, knowing that uh, the man has been dead for days. People are protesting, no, 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 don't remove the stone, he's going to stink. But hey, you see, he, has, he is God. This resurrection, this resurrection story is basically pointing us to the fact that he is God and he has got power over creation. He is the one who commands life. He is the one who commands resurrection. Mm -hmm. And so what I'm learning is with God, uh, not poverty, 
and not a disease, not death, nothing um, would be would be able to run, outrun God. He is never too late. He is always on time, mm. even when he is four days, when he's four days late. Later, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So, lesson number one on your part. Our emergencies. Our emergencies yes. are not God's emergencies. Mm. Lesson number two is that Jesus Christ is alive, and those who die in him, even though they die, yet they shall live again, mm. because he is alive and the resurrection. And number three is that he is never too late. Mm. A situation could be dead and rotten, but with Jesus Christ, he comes and speaks life into it because he is never too late. Mm. That is God's word. Wow, thanks be to God. Amen. You can pray with us. Let's pray. Uh, our dear and heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you for that wonderful time that you've given us to share in your word, Lord. And thank you because we know you are life, you are the resurrection, and we have put our faith in you, Lord. We pray that, Lord, you may constantly remind us uh, to wait on you, Lord, for your timings are the best, Lord. Uh, we thank you for the people that we've shared les this lesson with. May it be life-changing even to have an impact in their lives. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. All right, thank you for listening to listening in to the wonderful lesson. And we pray and hope that you now know that indeed Jesus Christ is the resurrection and he is the life. There is no life other than that which is found in the Lord Jesus Christ. And those who believe in the Lord Jesus, even though they die, yet they shall live again. So we thank you for being part and parcel of our Sunday school lesson today. We encourage you to share this lesson with as many people as possible. Make this little light to shine in your neighborhood, in your school, among all your family and friends. Get them to know about this lesson by sharing them, by sharing it with them, and also by liking it, subscribing to the glory and honor of God. Also encourage us, leave a comment and tell us something about this lesson that has really blessed you. And you can also be part and parcel of our community by purchasing an Uncle Paul's Ark t-shirt or purchasing one of the merchandise that we have to the glory of God. And you can also give something towards the promotion of the gospel through this YouTube channel. So may God bless you and we take it away with this little light of mine. We can let it shine. shine. All right. Let's go. This is a light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This is a light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This is a light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. All around my neighborhood, I'm gonna let it shine. All around my neighborhood, I'm gonna let it shine. All around my neighborhood, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine. This is the light of mine. Let it shine, 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 shine. Let it shine. This is the light of mine. Let it shine, shine. Let it shine, let it shine. This is the light of mine. Let it shine, 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 shine. Let it shine. This is the light of mine.